Well, Earl, it's first, first of all, it's important to say we have improved on our performance from last year. So the girls have gone up two places from 10th to 8th this year, um, beating Curacao 49 points to in their first game. But we've got some way to go to get our way further up the rankings, I would say. And a lot of that's going to be coming, what's going to be happening really in the next year or two with the development of women's rugby on the island. Uh, I know it's something that Gillian's really passionate about. Gillian is our captain of our women's team, who wasn't un was unfortunate not to be able to play this time because she had an injury. But, um, I mean, that's our next focus, right, Gillian? That's, that's correct. Firstly, I wanted to say thanks to the Bermuda community for supporting us. We had a fundraising event that allowed us to foot the bill for this trip. You know, we had lots of supporters um, behind us. Um, so we appreciate the support that we're getting from the community. And as um, Jamie said, you know, going forward, we're going to build on this and we're going to get stronger. What you would have seen the last time we played at this level? Um, how much have we improved overall in, in tackle point? Oh, the tackling was amazing, actually. I don't know if you've had a chance to watch some of our, our, previous, um, our previous games, you know. The, yeah, you should watch the previous games and then compare it to these games. Our tackling um, was amazing. What I want to say um, also is that when we got ready for this game, we got ready quite late. So we had less than two months to get ready. And considering that, I think the ladies did an amazing job. We have a group of girls who are energetic about rugby. They're passionate about rugby and they show commitment and support for one another. So with that, I think, you know, it's just gonna get stronger and stronger as we go forward. And we look to the community to come out and see us in our local games and continue to support us. Um, rugby, women's rugby is developing worldwide. And, you know, Bermuda should pay attention to that. And, you know, let's get in the game. Third place, uh, shall we accomplishment. But when you left, obviously, you want to do the best you can. Most players first and second in the it was uh, first and second in Japan, so um, it just happened to not go in our favour at the time. Um, but we moved on from it and um, we played Mexico again in the um, semi-finals and we showed Mexico that we shouldn't have lost to them um, in the quarter-finals. During the Saturday, you guys got off to a good start. You had the little uh, with uh, Mexico in the last game yeah. today. Um, that, that make you a little more determined coming out on Sunday to kind of play more as a well, we've been um, training for like three months before this tournament and um, the commitment is sure that the, that the team came together and even though it was bad decisions and little mistakes or whatever that causes the game, but we showed that we, we didn't stop. We kept on going and uh, we wanted to actually become third place. We wanted first place, but hey. You know, th this is more than just a tournament we played in. Um, this has been in the making for you know four or five years, um, and we've we progressed every year. <clears throat> so when we went down to Mexico, we we very specific uh, targets that we want to achieve, and semi final was where we thought was a realistic goal for us to be. Um, and you know we, we we achieved that. We actually got one better. We would have been very happy with fourth to get third. You know we were we were over the moon. To show that we're actually competing with the uh, the top teams, um, that's even further evidence of progression again. Um, so we really, we couldn't have asked for any more. Um, but it's testament to, to the commitment that the players have made, not only over the last three months, but over the last five years uh, as a core group. Do you think that's where our strength is in the sevens? 
Absolutely. Um, we've got a good structure in place. Uh, this programme, as I've touched on, didn't evolve overnight. It's been, uh, it's been thoughtfully structured um, and we've been building towards this now for a long time. It's somewhat of a relief to actually start seeing fruits uh, of our labour. Um, but the challenge now is that we've made a marker, we have to build from here. This isn't the top of our mountain, uh, it's merely base camp and we plan to be uh, top four from here on out. What's important to that is a succession plan of new players coming through um, and to get the, the new young guys coming through. We already have Jaki Simons, who's, who's a member of the squad who didn't travel. Uh, he's one for the future, um, but we have to we have to get more guys in here. Uh, and it's not just rugby players. We're looking for crossover athletes. Anyone who thinks that they've got it, uh, what it takes to, to play rugby sevens, uh, there's a realistic chance here that we can do great things. Not only through World Cup qualification, um, but through Olympic qualification. Uh, and those goals now are beginning to come in sight. Now, well, let me ask you a question about um, Jamaica because they Right. Well, <clears throat> that game proved that we can compete with the top. We, we've been practicing tough defense from day one. Um, and we are the bullies of the Caribbean when we go down to those tournaments. So the defense wasn't just about being tough, but it's about hitting everybody as hard as you can and letting them know who we are and what we do. Um, that game was nothing more than galvanization of the fact that our structure and our policy works. It was two mental errors that caused that game, not physical and not skill, so we're on the right track.